If you're a fan of softball, then you are going to love the Fast Pitch TV show sponsored by Easton Sports. Now the man that knows more about softball than anyone on the planet, your host, Gary Leland. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Fast Pitch TV show. Now if you're watching us on YouTube, MySpace, or another video sharing site, please check out our website. FastPitch.tv is the place to find all of our past episodes and the place to keep up with our future episodes. I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank our sponsor, Easton Sports. The truth is there is a difference and the difference is Easton. Now you can visit their website at EastonSoftball.com. Now today I am bringing you another episode with former Olympian Caitlin Lowe. She was a great gal to work with. I enjoyed meeting her immensely. Now, as I told you last week on the show, she's touring the country with Kat Osterman and Kelly Kretschmann conducting the Triple Threat Softball Camps, okay? And their first camp was up in McKinney, Texas a couple weeks ago. So I went up to their camp, spent most of the, well, I guess I could almost say I spent the entire day there filming. Now, one of the things I filmed was Caitlin teaching uh, the players how to do the sneaky bunt, okay? That's what she calls it, the sneaky bunt. So this week, let's find out how you do the sneaky bunt by Caitlin Lowe. So my sneaky bunt, what's the purpose? It's right in the name, right? We want to be able to be sneaky and get on base, okay? So we don't want to come up here and stand in the very front of the box. What do they think we're gonna do? Bunt all day, right? That's the number one thing kids do. They get up here, and what does the defense do? As soon as they see that, they go like this. Okay? Your game is up. You won't be able to get on base. Okay? So we start in the same position as if we were hitting, as if we were sacrificing. Okay? Now, the only thing that's going to change is the direction that our feet are facing. Okay? The direction that our feet are facing and when we square around. Okay? So sacrifice, like I said, before that pitcher even starts her wind up, you're squared around, right? Does it matter if they know you're sacrificing? No. Okay? The whole purpose is to get the ball down where we want to get the ball down. Okay? If we're sneaky budding, a good rule is once that pitcher gets right to about release point, is that's when we're going to start squaring them out. Okay? Same mechanics apply. We're just doing them faster. Okay? So instead of taking your time, squaring around, getting ready, we're all set to go. We're starting from, from hitting position and all that's happening is we're getting there fast, okay? Now, look at where my feet are pointing. Where are they pointing? To first base. Now watch when I drop my bat, what position am I in? A running position, right? So I'm ready to go as soon as that ball goes down. If I'm standing up here, running the ball like a lot of people do from a non-athletic position, am I ready to run? No, right? A lot of people bunt like this, am I ready to run like that? No, not at all. So we wanna make sure, good running position, Getting it down. Okay, now with the sneaky bunt. Middle of the field is also a good place to have it, but it's also a good bunt to read people. Okay? If that third baseman is sitting on her heels because you're such a good power hitter, you can read that, obviously. Okay? If you see her, if you take a big, 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 big hack, maybe you foul it off or drive it down the line, and you see her and she's like this. She's scared, right? That's a perfect situation to bunt into her. Don't even worry about the middle of the field. She's not ready to go. All right? So we're getting right in the middle of the box. Starting up, feet pointed out. Now, the most important thing is that when we're going fast, we can't let our bat linger back here. Okay? We need to make sure we're still getting that bat out in front so that we can bunt the ball. Okay? Now, just like when we did our hitting stations, what happens when we move faster? What do we lose? Mechanics, right? So we want to make sure everything stays the same. We're not dropping our back head. Okay, we're not dropping our shoulder. Our head's not dropping. We're making sure everything stays the same. Okay? And I want to see everybody in that good, athletic, knees bent, sprinter's position. Okay? Sound good? Alright, now with this, when we split up, work on bunting it to different parts of the field. Okay? You know where you're going to bunt it, but I want you to know in your head every time. I'm going to bunt it to third base. Do it. Stand. Okay? We'll take five each on these and then rotate through. Keep rotating. You guys should not be sitting still waiting for the ball to get to me. On a bump for a base hit, I want to see bunt and my momentum should be taking me forward, okay? Here we go. Wait, wait, wait. Good. Now, yes. Time out. We bunt the ball, stop, and then take two steps. Have we gone as fast as we could? Now, 
so next time we make an adjustment to where I start, and as soon as I start, I don't stop. Okay? Because if I start, find, stop, start again, it's going to be a little bit slower. Okay? Not all the way. I'm just saying, let your momentum take you that way. Good. That all you got? Good. Better. Get that timing down. Good. Atta girl. Watch that ball. Don't hit that no rolling. Good. Getting better. Getting smoother. One more. Good. Switch. Hi, girl. All right. Let's see it. First sneaky run of your life. Yeah. All right. Yeah, but it's okay. That's good. We got to share. Now soften up. Now, you're still getting into that same position, softening the ball. So if you're getting there late and hitting it hard, get there a little bit earlier. Well, that's how you do the sneaky bunt. I want to thank Caitlin for taking the time to show us that and letting us film it and bring it to you. Now, that was just five minutes of what you'll be learning at their two-day camp. Now, if you're interested in the Triple Threat Softball Camp, check out their website at triplethreatsoftball.com. Now, as I said, I spent the entire day there, so I shot a lot of footage. So on future show shows, I'll be bringing you more interviews and more uh, drills that I filmed from the Triple Threat Softball Camp. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, remember to check us out on uh, our website at Facebook. Remember to check out our website at fastpitch.tv. Check out, become a fan of the show at facebook.com slash fastpitchtv. If you have a Twitter account, follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash fastpitchtv. So uh, let's end it with a word from our sponsor, Easton Sports. And thanks for watching. This bat's great. Great pop. Nice smooth zone. Feels good on the hands. The sweet spot is pretty nice. Um, it's not as small as some other bats. Even if you don't hit it exactly on it, the ball still travels as far as it's supposed to.